Welcome to Technophobics Anonymous. Uh, this is Randy Velker. Today we're going to be looking at uh, a little bit one of the joys of using the internet, and it has to do with shopping online. Uh, it's amazing what is for sale out there. It's amazing what you can find. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how to do that and some of the precautions you need to uh, take as you're out there surfing the internet, uh, potentially uh, using your credit card. Uh, all right, let's pop over here. In Google Chrome, up on the command line, I'm going to go ahead and type in Amazon. Uh, now, Amazon is uh, probably the largest online store, certainly one of the most successful ones that they've had. Uh, it pops right up, the very first one, Amazon.com. I'll go ahead and click on that, and I'm coming to the home page of Amazon. Uh, now, Amazon started out as just a bookseller. They sold all, you know, basically every book that is sold, they have it here for sale. And one of the things about Amazon is not only do they have um, new books, but they also allow other people who have used books to sell their books right alongside of the new book. So if you're interested in buying uh, a used copy of something, Amazon still is a very good place to go search. You have all the new books that Amazon may be selling straight from their warehouse, and then you have all of the used ones that other uh, affiliates of Amazon may be uh, selling from their house wherever it is. Um, now, one of the good things about buying from uh, about buying online is you don't have to pay any sales tax, at least not yet. Um, <clears throat> and so in uh, the state where I am, it's almost a 10% sales tax. So I have a 10% discount instantly um, by buying something online. Now, I do, have to buy, I, I do have to pay for shipping to get whatever it is that I've bought to my door. But if I can wait a few days, and typically shipping is only 3 or $4, something like that, um, uh, a lot of times I'm saving more uh, over not paying any of the, the actual sales tax. Uh, and sometimes if you buy, for instance, on Amazon, something over $25, they're, they're going to ship it for free. So you have no shipping and you have no sales tax. It comes right to your door in three or four days. And at the same time, if you know how to search and you're shopping price, you may be getting the cheapest price in the whole nation for that product. Uh, so it, it's a very good idea to at least... Uh, find out what is available online before you go make uh, an actual purchase in a store. Now, sometimes, sometimes a local store may be the better buy, but certainly. Um, but uh, if you have a specific, detailed thing that you're looking for, uh, the internet is probably going to is probably going to beat it price and um, in getting that exact specific part uh, when you need it, where you need it, uh, that type of a thing. Anyway, we're back here in Amazon. And uh, let's go ahead and <clears throat> look in the computer. Now, all of these different uh, sections over here, I can browse through, look at electronics things that they have, home and garden things, kitchen, bedding, home appliances. Pretty much, if it would be anywhere for sale at Walmart or here, it's going to be. You know, you have tons of toys, uh, clothes, sports stuff. Tools, auto, uh, all kinds of stuff. Let's go into the books, so we'll, we'll see what, what they have in there. That's what they started as a bookseller online. Um, <clears throat> uh, let's uh, look at what they have. Um, how Barack Obama won. Okay, let's go ahead and click on this one. Um, we'll we'll uh, follow this all the way through. Now, I'm not going to buy this one, but it'll be interesting to, to see how it works. All right, it's popped up. This is the book. Um, if I am interested in looking at used ones, um, <clears throat> uh, it'll give you other options very similar to it. Um, it doesn't look like they have any used ones available for this right now. All they have are, actually, they don't even have these for sale. These are all pre-order. So it, this book hasn't even come out yet. Uh, I'm going to push this button in order to pre-order it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to pre-order it. Uh, so you can see how this uh, uh, works. Right. I have pre-ordered it, and now I'm going to proceed to check out. I'm going to go pay for it. Now, notice what happened. All right. Let me let me go back one. Uh, uh, anytime I go backwards in Google Chrome, they ask you to uh, confirm that you want to go back. Um, look up here in the command line. 
you'll see this is what I'm highlighting right now. See, it says HTTP, right? Um, that is not a secure website, right? For it to be a secure website, for you to be able to put in your credit card, you're going to want to make sure that there's an S after the P. It has to turn into HTTPS. That means it's a secure website. If, if you go to a website and you're shopping and it does not have a, an S after the HTTP, do not put in your credit card. Right? Other people will be able to uh, get your credit card information, basically. Now, Amazon is smart and wise and they're not going to allow that to happen. So let's go ahead and proceed to the checkout and you'll see what happens. Uh, the very next thing, the whole command line turns yellow. There's a, um, looks like a padlock over here. Um, and on this side, it's HTTPS. All right? That means that this is secure. So in Google Chrome, if you see the padlock, that means that it's secure. Uh, if you see the S, that means that it's secure. All right? So now, from here on out, what you're doing, anything that you enter in is going to be encrypted. It's going to be encoded. Nobody else will be able to see it. So no one's going to know what your email address is. No one's going to know what your password is. And beyond that, nobody's going to know what your credit card is when you, uh, when you type it in in the next couple pages down. All right? Now, what you would do is you would put in your email address, you would put in your uh, password, or you would sign up for a new account if you've never been there. Um, if you're a new uh, customer, they're going to set up an account for you. What they'll do is they'll take your credit card information and then they'll store your credit card information. The next time you go to Amazon.com, all you're going to have to do is sign in so they know exactly that it's you and um, then they'll have your information already on there and you can say, I want to pay for it with this credit card uh, and, and you won't have to re-enter the information in. All right, I'm not going to go through and uh, sign in at Amazon.com. I'm just showing you how the process works, how to get the ball rolling there. Um, uh, another big site that you can search is uh, eBay. All right, now, this is for uh, used products that people are selling, either stores or um, other individuals. And they may actually they may be new, they may be used, but basically it's an auction site. So you can go on there and you might be able to get it for a real low bid, or you might bid up the price a little bit um, and get it for a little higher price. Depends. But there's a lot of unique stuff in eBay. Uh, again, they're going to want you to get your own um, uh, account at eBay, and, and they'll keep your information on there as well. The the big sites like Amazon, eBay. Uh, Walmart.com, you're going to be pretty safe giving them your information, letting them hold on to it um, uh, because they have hundreds of thousands of people that they are protecting their private uh, financial data. Um, <clears throat> all right, um, now with all of these different uh, websites, you're going to make sure that these are secure passwords. Remember the password that we did for uh, Gmail? Uh, the acronym starting with Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound That Saved a Wretch. It was 10 letters long. What you might want to do is, is make a, that your base password with 10 letters, and then at the end of it, you put uh, 44, 45, 46, 47. You know, one of them is going to be for Amazon, one of them is going to be for eBay, one of them is going to be for somewhere else. So they're different. But still, they're a very secure password. So um, if any one of those sites was compromised and someone stole all the passwords from them, they would not have access to all of your other accounts. Okay? But it's still a very secure uh, password, and it's very similar. It'll be easy to remember. All right? So if, if it's a, a password-type family. Um, <clears throat> All right, uh, have fun as you're out there looking uh, on uh, the internet, doing some shopping. Uh, a lot of times you can find uh, killer deals online. Uh, many times you'll find what you need at a, at a local store, uh, maybe even a little more conveniently. Uh, <clears throat> but uh, we'll, we'll continue next time, and we'll see you. Thanks.